Welcome to Star Trek Voyager. No! Lost in space? Uh. Stargate Universe. Why would you even mention that show? That show is the worst show in the world. Well, I liked it. Mile Duin, his two mates, Diurn and Germain, his four brothers, and his 14 shipmates all cowered in fear at the sight of the giant, terrible beast. And then they ran, and the beast gave chase. As it ran, it cast dangerous spells and large stones in their direction. They had no choice but to stand against it. And lo, the men with red jerkins around their bodies were taken up and eaten by the terrible beast, leaving ample time for the rest to board their ship and row away. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. They quickly came upon another island. When will these islands ever end? It's like the never-ending island chain story. They drew near enough to see land, and Dyer and the Rhymer took out his trusty telescope to see what he could see from the sea. And his friend Germain asked, What seest ye? Cows sprinting upon the sand. One takes a chomp upon another. Oh, ugh, and another! There's blood everywhere! They be mad cows, then, asked your man. Verily, said Dairon, like a disease. Yea, and should we enter that land, we would never be able to donate blood again. And thus they made haste away from the island. They made a pit stop on Apple Island and gathered up apples for their voyage. My apple bends, said one shipmate. Yea, they don't make them like they used to now, do they? Said another. On their way, they came to a fortress that rose out of the sea. And inside, they found a small cat romping among a very large treasure. At the treasure's center, there was a great feast of roasted ox and intoxicating liquor and beer. And Mile Duin asked the cat, because cats are smart, aren't they, Pebbles? Have you left this here for us, little cat? And the cat just looked at Mile and kept playing. Because that's what cats do. They play. Assuming the answer was yes, Smile and his shipmates feasted on the ox and drank the beer. The next day, they packed up the rest of the food and drink, and as they were leaving, Mile Duin's foster brother said, Oh, what a pretty necklace made of the finest gold. Brother, can I take it home? Would the cat mind? And Mile replied, The cat does mind. The cat minds very much, I believe. But Mile Duin's brother did not listen, and he took the necklace anyways. And the cat leaped through the brother like a fiery arrow, and he fell to ash upon the floor. You're an evil kitty, aren't you, Pebbles? And they all ran away, back into their boat, and sailed off into the yonder blue sea. Yes, Pebbles, that's how it happened. Right? Can you tell the audience that they should click the little red subscribe button down below and share this with their other kitty cat friends yeah i think so yeah pebbles that's a good kitty oh look at that look at those paws look at those paws i don't normally talk to you like this this isn't how i normally talk to a cat you don't talk to a cat like this hi pebbles Mwah. i love my kitty and she loves me. Yep, I love my kitty and she loves me.